Now, your local weather authority with meteorologist Dan Reynolds. Well, we got the hot weather coming and got a story online on our main page right now, mywallbashvalley.com. Heat dangers uh, and a bonus on that one, hot pavement warning. That's for the four-legged members of the family. So check that out. It's online right now. Now, here's what we got. Big blow up of clouds off to the east. There's been some thunderstorm activity just east of Terre Haute on the Great River Post Buildings Weather Cam. And here's what we're tracking. Oh, we've got a little bit of everything. Scattered storms for, for a couple more hours, maybe, and the 90s return. A chance of storms each day with the setup we have. And then we're going to sizzle with 90s through Sunday. Heat indexes are going to go above 100. 83 at the airport, a little bit of sunshine. Feels like 85. Humidity's not bad at 58%. Winds out of the west, southwest at 7. Pressure falling from 29.93. No rain today. Rainy July, and we'll see if we pick up anything here today. I think a better chance to come Tuesday morning. Then could pop up a shower storm each day this week. Really, 57. Paris for the low, 60. Terre Haute, Bloomington, 62. At Vincennes, over to Washington, they dropped to 57. High temps, 89. At Vincennes, 90. At uh, Effingham. Getting a jump start in those 90 degree readings. Current temps close to the highs, just starting to cool in the temperature trend. We're going to push into the upper 80s to around 90 tomorrow. Maybe some low 90s, depending on cloud cover. Winds will be light from the southwest, 5 to 10 tonight. Metro view, uh, pretty much uh, clouds east and west of Terre Haute. It's partly cloudy for most of us right now. And I don't think we'll have any issues with rain big long term anyway. Nationally, you can see everything is pretty much located to the southeast. We've got a little bit of activity around us, and once you get off around the Quincy area, and that little line right there just cropped up late in the afternoon, uh, produced a severe thunderstorm warning marginal for Owen, and everything else has been east. Now we've got some action moving in up around Vermillion County, Illinois. Here you can see the live. Now that thunderstorm warning is well to the east of us. So we've just got scattered, non-severe thunderstorm activity. Future cast picked it up pretty well. So much heat, moisture in the air. You get into the afternoon and evening hours, you can pop up showers and storms just about any day during this forecast period. Tuesday morning may be a little bit more of a threat of some organized and widespread rainfall. Over the next seven days, again, just keep in mind each afternoon and evening early, you can see a shower or storm with all the moisture we've got in the air. Nothing widespread or big, I don't think. What's going to persist? The heat is going to continue to build definitely in the 90s, right through at least next Sunday and maybe a couple of days beyond that. And But let's take the 10-day and push it out. Watch what happens as we go late in July to start August. A cooling trend there, so maybe this will last just about one week and we'll cool off. Now, for tonight, uh, thunderstorms late. We could see a recurrence of those. We're kind of taking a break right now. So more likely an overnight thing, 65 for the low. Tomorrow, it's going to be hot. Uh, we're going to hit 90 in a lot of spots. 89, that's for here at the studios. Partly cloudy, and then here we go on the seven-day forecast. A lot of 90-degree readings, daytime muggy, nighttime lows in the 70s. Again, you could pop a shower storm each day this week with this pattern. And uh, 96 on Friday. Now, none of those are going to be record highs. Over the next seven days, all our records are 100 or warmer, but definitely we are sizzling for the next several days, Jack.